Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Tuesday, August 15th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. At least 99 people dead in Maui's wildfires, with only 32% of the burn area searched. Keep calm. It's boom time. It looks like those numbers in Maui's will increase over the coming days as we get into the forecast. Severe thunderstorm watch issued as storms target the East Coast today. Severe thunderstorms pushed through North Carolina, toppling trees and knocking out power. You can see the radar there. Quite a few lightning strikes. And the giant hailstone found in Yuma County appears to be Colorado's largest on record, being confirmed yesterday, August 14th at the National Weather Service Goodland, Kansas office. Take a look at that. This was a 5.3 inches, I believe. 5.25 inches, crushing the previous record in Colorado of just 4.83. That is a massive hailstone. And there's another picture. We can get a good angle of it. Let's take a look here over on the Xbox. Boom. Let's open that image up. Let's make it happen. There it is. Now back to the wildfires. At least 99 people were killed so far in the wildfires, as I said, with only 32% of the burn area searched. Officials are worrying the death toll will rise. Now, it was invasive grasses that caused the Maui fires to rage, but it was many other failures in the response system which caused the fatalities and the destruction. It's my belief that if the right mechanisms were in place this fire would have been put out unfortunately many things went wrong first of all poor management and the fact that 32 percent of hawaii is covered in invasive grasses that become highly flammable second we've got a leaked internal memo from the fema director deanne criswell here sent to me yesterday um, with identified failures here the evacuation route management Unexplained closures of major evacuation routes despite imminent danger of the fire. Inadequate warning activation. They did not activate the state warning point and consequently the outdoor siren warning system was not used. Misinformation on fire containment. Dissemination of inaccurate data regarding the fire's containment status. Unsafe shelter-in-place advisories. Can you believe they told people to shelter-in-place with 60 mile an hour winds outside moving a rapid wildfire. This is inappropriate guidance given in the perilous conditions arising from external factors like the high winds outside. Poor resource coordination, widespread confusion due to mismanagement of road closures. They actually closed evacuation routes. That is insane. Also, as soon as the fire started, the water stopped working in Lahaina. What in the world is going on? There's also issues with people getting back into the area, post-road fire closures, arbitrary post-disaster roadblocks, and suspicion of martial law implementation. This is a failure on all angles, and something is quite suspicious, the fact that as soon as the fire started, the water stopped flowing. What say you? Leave a comment below. Now, multiple people in Penobscot, County impacted by lightning strikes. It was an electric Sunday night in Penobscot. And this is up in Maine. It's insane. People getting electrocuted. Two Newburgh boys shocked by lightning strike uh, up in Bangor as well. So quite an active New England lightning festival. Here's the full forecast. Heat, heavy rainfall, and severe weather hazards. Wednesday's outlook, more record high temperatures are expected across the northwestern states, Texas, and Florida. Meanwhile, severe thunderstorms are possible ahead of a frontal boundary across portions of the upper Midwest with monsoonal moisture aiding with the development of mainly afternoon and evening thunderstorms and showers. Isolated flash flooding is possible, especially in vulnerable areas. So... Take heed. Click on your county for more info. Now, I can see one thing. It is well below average here, and I'm sure many of you uh, in the center of the country know what I'm talking about, as well as northeast. There is that lingering uh, sh system, uh, some thunderstorms here in New York State and maybe even New Jersey that could be lingering through tonight. Uh, 
especially in New York State and then up into New England there. So heads up. Let's quickly jump over to the seismic update. And the biggest rocker here, 5.2 in Peru. Nothing else of note. All is quiet. Except uh, on the Reykjanes Ridge. Just offshore, there was a strong earthquake swarm about 36 hours ago. Take a look at that. But it has quieted off since then. This is offshore uh, in a subsurface area along that mid-ocean ridge. So they're keeping a close eye on this. It's very hard, difficult to monitor this area. There are no tiltimeters under the water there. So just some seismic signatures, and you can see a heavy cluster of earthquakes happening just about 36 hours ago. Also an update on Iceland, increased hydrothermal activity at Astia Volcano. It seems that there has been an increase in gas and hydrothermal activity at Astia Volcano and in nearby areas because of inflation that is currently taking place. At the writing of this article, August 13th, Inflation at Astra Volcano seems to have reached between 80 millimeters and 100 millimeters. The reports have been slightly difficult to place in a good picture of what is happening. Uh, and there is an uptick at Astra. Hydrothermal activity increasing as well as uplift of the ground. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Not much to report on. Shishaldin back in the picture puffing to 16,000 feet here just moments ago. Sangue to 20. Mayon also still erupting, Sabankaya to 27,000 feet, Ubinas to 25, Sangay to 19. Here's Shishaldin, another eruption there, 25,000 feet, Karangitang to 7,000. And you can see here the elevated tremor uh, as of about six hours ago at Shishaldin uh, with an eruption warning. So we've had two events now, one to 25,000 and one to 15. So that is your worldwide volcano news update. Space weather update. Very quiet sun. We are in the low C range, C1.6. There are a few sunspots on the disk, but they're doing absolutely nothing, and they are very minor at best. Uh, not much turning around the limb either, just these three small spots. At Solar Max in cycle 25, the sun is putting on a very weak showing. Now, useless organ that doctors often remove may actually not be useless. Now, who said that an organ in our the human body is useless, first of all? But I do digress. There is a small fatty gland that sits behind your sternum and is often said to be useless in adulthood. But a recent retrospective study suggests that thymus gland is not nearly as expendable as experts once thought. U.S. researchers found that those who get their thymus removed face an increased risk of death from any cause later in life. So... That baby looks pretty important. They also found an increased risk of developing cancer with the removal of the thymus. So keep your thymus gland, kids. James Webb Space Telescope spots giant black holes all over the universe. Well, black holes are invisible because they suck everything in. So how we can find them or view them is anybody's guess and complete nonsense and fairy tale science once again we know very little about our universe and cosmology at all we don't even know about our own backyard england's mysterious sunken roads look at how deep this road is there's over 40 miles of roads this deep in england and it's a mystery, but a new mapping project by Natural England will help unearth the deep history and mystery of this ancient network of subterranean tracks. Sounds quite fantastic. These sunken lanes have been eroded over centuries by the footsteps of travelers and their animals. And some of the sunken roads, well, are quite deep. So all the links will be below to the interesting articles. So go get them. One final warning. You know what's been going on with the weather and climate fraud and the climate scam? Well, did you know that the Weather Channel is owned by the Rothschilds? Yes. E.L. Rothschild LLC acquired a majority stake in the Weather Channel. 70%. And this is back in 2011. And it goes to show you follow the money and that's a boom to knowledge please share this video as we are shadow band and we need your help to grow become a patreon support the work we do be safe we love you and crestone energy fair coming up in just about 
one month. So stay tuned for updates. Mm-hmm.